Hello! Uh, hopefully you enjoyed my last video which was with Dr James Grime in which we played various mathematical games which it turned out were all just the same game anyway and uh, one of the games we were playing was this, uh, Stars and Planets so we've got this set of cards with uh, one, two or three stars and one, two or three planets and it's all the possible cards uh, and it turned out that this made a game which was in fact the same as the game of Noughts and Crosses and in the description of the video, because of course in the in the video we use various different sets of cards and I had uh, some more mathematical ones like these pies and taus. I had, uh, for hilarious irony's sake, noughts and crosses, since the game we were playing was noughts and crosses anyway. Uh, and this uh, <laughs> highly sought after celebrity number file special edition, uh, Mats and Brady's. Uh, and I did say in the description of the video that, you know, since I've got these cards, I don't really need them for anything else, uh, that I was going to be doing a little giveaway. So I asked people uh, in a tweet on my Twitter feed to see if they could come up with their own version of this game. You obviously need two things that you can put on the cards which will be somehow mathematically interesting and uh, a few different people came back with some responses so I thought I would share with you some of the answers that I had uh, and let you know which one of those I thought was the best and therefore who was going to get sent uh, a nice set of cards in the post. So first of all we were sent uh, a few different suggestions so uh, Chaitanya on Twitter said uh, what about integrals and differentials which is a nice mathematical thing and you could have the sort of single integral, double integral, triple integral and so on. Um, someone else, uh, Zainab, suggested uh, 220s and 284s which is a really nice pair of numbers to suggest 220 and 284 are a pair of numbers which are amicable numbers so uh, you would have uh, a pair of numbers where if you take all the things that divide 220 and add them together they will give you 284 and the same if you take 284 work out all the things it's divisible by add them together you will get uh, two, 220 uh, so they're kind of their number friends and it would be quite nice to have a set of cards with 220s and 284s I don't know if you would just have you know three of that number or if you would have 220, 440 and 660 uh, <laughs> whichever of those two you want to do uh, we had another suggestion which was this so I'll bring these cards over here so this was sent in by Rangnil Hienes, uh, Nilly on Twitter, who suggested that I could use uh, these cards from the game set. Uh, and you, if, you, if you're familiar with the game set, you'll know that in this game uh, there are various things that categorise as a set of three. Uh, so in this case, uh, we've got a set in every row, we've got a set in every column, uh, and we've got a set in both diagonals as well, which is fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, this is also this has got extra layers to it because there are other things in here that are also sets of three. So in our Stars and Planets game, we very carefully designed the rules so that the only things that were sets of three were diagonal lines uh, in noughts and crosses. Uh, in this case, if we take this off diagonal, so this piece, this piece, and this piece, that is also a line of three. Uh, and similarly, this one, this one, and this one. Uh, and it turns out that if you um, play the game of noughts and crosses on the surface of a cylinder or on the surface of a torus, if you wrap round from one end to the other, uh, those are also straight lines uh, on a cylinder or a torus. So this is kind of higher dimensional uh, noughts and crosses, I guess, which also works. So that's good. Uh, we had another suggestion from Jenna on Twitter, which was that you could play snakes and ladders. That's already the name of the game. Uh, so I've, I've mocked up some cards here for the game of uh, snakes and ladders. You can see there are, there are some snakes and some ladders. Uh, so that, you know, that works. That's quite a nice one. Uh, the game of snakes and ladders, by the way, uh, completely uninteresting. It's just on the dice rolls. Uh, you could just get a computer to play the game for you. In fact, I already do. I play about a thousand games a week with uh, three of my friends. We get a computer to simulate what's happening and it just emails us at the end of each week to say who's in the lead. I'm currently winning. Uh, so that's another one. Uh, and my two favourites, I've got two favourites in this here. So I'll show you my, uh, my second favourite and then my first favourite. So this one uh, down here was sent in by Andrew. Uh, and this is a set where the cards uh, don't necessarily have different numbers of things on them, uh, but it's just a set of nine cards, and they are the numbers 0, 2, 4, 5, 7, and 9, and we also have uh, plus 3 equals, plus 5 equals, and plus 7 equals. And if you arrange them in this square, you can see that each row, column, and diagonal, um, with the exception of this diagonal, but I'll come back to that in a second, uh, each row, column, and diagonal can be arranged into a valid sum, so 2 plus 7 equals 9, that works. Uh, and if you have the cards arranged in this way, then anything that's a valid sum, and you also have to include the set that's just the three operator cards, uh, will give you a, a line of three. So if you play the game where you have to take it in turns to pick up cards and try and get yourself a valid sum, um, or the three operator cards, uh, then that is again equivalent to noughts and crosses. 
So that's quite nice. Good work, Andrew. Uh, but my actual favourite, my winning uh, set of cards, uh, was sent in by Travis, uh, both as a YouTube comment and on Twitter as well. Uh, and I have, I've printed off and made a version of these cards. So if you look at these, you should be able to see that in each of these, we've got um, different numbers of twos and threes. So in the top row, they've all got uh, one, three, in the next row they've got two, in the next row they've got three, and in the columns we've got one, two, two twos, and three twos. And if you calculate the values of each of these sums, you will actually get the numbers one to nine. Uh, in fact, so if, if you kind of flip all of these over, you can see that these are uh, the numbers one to nine, and not only do we have the number of twos increasing, the number of threes increasing in the two different directions, these are also arranged in a magic square. So I think this is this is supreme effort. This is an excellently designed uh, set of cards. I have no idea how you came up with this or indeed how you were inspired to come up with this, but I very much appreciate that you sent this through because this is absolutely fantastic. Um, and I'm, I'm very much enjoying this. So Travis, if you're out there, um, I will follow you on Twitter. If you send me a DM uh, with your address I can, or an address, I can post you uh, some, whichever of these sets you would like, to be honest, you can have all of them or any subset of them that you would like. So please let me know. Uh, but thank you very much to everyone who joined in and had a go. Uh, if you do want to come up with your own versions of this, I'm very happy to, to be sent messages with them or make a video, you know, let us know what you've come up with. Uh, but this is, uh, I think, just a really nice extension of the uh, idea of having these equivalent games. So thank you very much to everyone.